Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Death Scambit. I found out what my wife wanted. It was just to talk to me. Which is good, because I love doing that. Uh, and I've had like a two-hour break. Oh, hmm. Maybe I should fix this. Better. So, I kind of like how Soren does have backstory, but like... I don't know. I, I keep going back and forth on it because I kind of like how he has his own backstory and his own life and stuff. But on the other hand, I... It's cool. I'm not going to say it's not. But I might prefer... Ooh, ooh, okay. I might prefer if... Uh, you know, I got to project a little more onto him. Because initially when he was just a silent protagonist and he didn't even have a skin tone, he was just blue. I was like, yeah, that's cool. I'm fine with that. But now, oh yeah, I have this that I can... Yeah. Oh. I got that last time though. I guess it just didn't save right? Weird. But I'm in the right location at least. Oh, they go here. Hey, that's a... Interesting. Another customer, welcome to Fruit Piece. Been generations since her last. Doesn't say he was so dreamy, carrying around his big old axe. Don't tell anyone, but I keep a picture of him under my bed. I just want to be crushed under his weight, you know what I mean? You know, I do. Recently there was this tiny bum who smelled like rotting flowers. He cackled trying to steal the food, so... So not fetch. I put him down in my burn book. I have the worst luck with guys. This is not a place I expected this game to go. I built this restaurant just to attract someone to go out on a date with. No offense, but you look like sh cold, shiny, hard metal. But we can be friends. Just friends. Fascinating. Oh, this is the kitchen you were in. It is so weird to see you in some places sometimes, man. Yeah, like, when they started giving Soren more, like, backstory, I was like, mm, okay. What in the seven hells are you doing in my kitchen, boy? Can't you see I'm in the middle of perfecting my mac and cheese and cave crab recipe? Pasta la vista, bucko. So you said to get a job. I'm just here giving culinary advice. Yeah, I like the camera over here way more. I look way hotter. Like, I look okay in the last few videos, but like here I'm like... Look at me smolder. Then what's the apron for? You don't enter a battlefield without weapons or armor, do you? <laughs> you think the expeditions were hard? Try running a Mr. three-star restaurant. Presumably based off the Michelin stars. Hey, Crow, you got time for idle chat? You got time to flip a, boo a burger? Get a move on. Yes, chef. Go bother someone else before I get fired. You just keep getting stranger and stranger. How's I'm just... You don't enter a... You think the exp... Yes, chef. Also, yes, chef. Well, let's go see what you got to say. Have you brought anyone with you? I guess I gotta... Maybe I'll pick up one of them as like an item. Like one of these guys. Hey, stop distracting us. We're trying to reach a rare item. I'm gonna get a super jump, like in Castlevania, I think. You know the big super jump boots? Tall legs. You ever have sleep time dreams? Dreams where it feels like tall legs can't move? Then tall legs sees the scary monster smiling at you? The big skull and whole eyes and many mouths and arms. And I... Uh, ah, this is easy to stay awake. Wow, I look fantastic. Hello, you must be death. Man who never seen someone know was so... N never seen someone so devoid of life. Not like Manu's boy. You ever seen him anywhere? Thomas is supposed to be home for dinner by now. 
He was you running pet frog and playing Vern Vern Vernable Knight. He can never say it though. V Venu Vern Venerable Knight. Thomas always makes my news day brighter. Such a force of positive energy, you know? Just so alive, like really, really alive. And not dead at all? Is that where we're going with this? Have you seen the big door to the right? People say the written inscription is part of legend. I can't read. I can't read though. That's awesome. Damn. Three sigils of care, Siori. It reads, one sigil entrusted to... Oh, good use of word there, by the way. Most people say it says, but something that's written down doesn't say anything. But it reads something. One sigil entrusted to Amulvaro. May his watchful eyes above sanctuary keep us safe. Another granted to the warden of the prison. May her conviction keep the sinners at bay. The last guarded by Kusith. Oh, that's a real monster. I wonder if the other ones are as well. Kusith, the untamable guy and beast. Mmm. Hmm. Eldritch Council. And Kusith. I can see this must lead to here. This will lead to here. Probably this specific door. Maybe this one, but this might be a shortcut back. And then, where was the other one? Here. I don't even know where. Maybe these things down at the bottom of Darkness Falls? Yeah, I have no idea how we're going to get down there. Well. Hey, buddy. Just want to let you know we finished hammering that bridge. You can proceed to the western sewers. Oh, great. So I had to come in here and see this then. Interesting. I bet speedrunners hate that. By the way, we escaped it earlier. But now we actually do have to get the three items and go on our way. Yeah, see, if I had a super jump, I could go in there and see what's going on. I've uh, recently been replaying Final Fantasy XV with the wife. It's one of my favorite ones, if you didn't know. And I'm aware that it's not as good as some of them. I know that everyone says that 9 is the best. And a lot of them say that 6 was the best. And a lot of people say that 7 was overrated, but you know what? 7 was a cultural reset, and I know that people just throw that word around, but come on now. If you don't think Final Fantasy VII was a cultural reset, then I don't know what to tell you. I really just... I don't know what to tell you. Damn. Shut up, even. It's good. Oh, this is a real ledge. Time warp reset all ability cooldowns and heals most status ailments. That's a big one. That's cool and useful. So where am I? I am underneath the arena Origa has fought in. That makes sense, because that was how we got down here. But yeah, I would say that 10 is maybe the best, but like, I have a habit of like, really enjoying or in some way appreciating kind of non-standard Final Fantasies. I know that the nature of a Final Fantasy is, you know, on its own, not standard. 
because they can be about anything. But, you know, I would say that of all of them, 15, 1, and uh, Final Fantasy 15, Final Fantasy 1, and Final Fantasy 8 are some of the most atypical ones. Those are my favorite ones. That might change. And I really enjoyed 10. I, I do think that 10 might be maybe the best, but like... Dan, they clean me up. 10 throwing daggers and another priesthood. Whatever. Yes. So here's this then. All right. So we have the key that allows us to get to this. So there might be something important in there. I'll sit. Ooh, yeah, we've got one of these. Let's keep these pushing. Five fifty, we can do that. Easily we can get that. And the skeleton key. That's five K. It's a lot. This ain't the right place. But yeah, I would say that, like, of the Final Fantasies... The atypical ones are often my favorite. Like, one is weird because you don't build the party throughout the game. And because you don't have mana... You have a weird, like, spell slot system instead. And eight is weird because like everything uses ammo. And there's a like max act system, you know, like exact and max act from DMC four and five. Um, but there's like a, a subsystem like that, but it's an RPG. Like it's still turn based and everything. It just happens to have frame perfect max acting, which is awesome. That's great. That is an That is an amazing thing to have in, you know, an RPG to keep it interesting. Yeah. And if I had a super jump here. Uh, and then five, this is just coincidence, but like five also, much like one, does not have mana and it does not have, um... Oh, hey, you're here. And that means that I'm on the right path. Braille? Ah, I found this missive on a corpse here. It carries the royal seal of Vados. Well, most of it has been scribbled over. Mm-hmm. What does it say? F think. Think has you now. <laughs> think trap man feels good. Mustn't let them get away. No, no. <laughs> Goodness gracious. But yeah, 15 also does not have the typical, like, mana system. It also has a car that you drive around in. Like, it's not fantasy at all. In fact, it's an Audi, of all things. <sighs> it's just a ditch. I've been in worse situations. Should have known. Answer tricksy questions. And maybe Fink will keep one surface dweller as do you see that we're both gigantic super warriors, man? It's because I didn't buy any of your garbage. Little gala moment down here. Go ahead with your questions. Whether I die or not doesn't matter. Question one. This land is called Saradin. 
Trues are fosters. It is true. It's called Sheridan. Next, the first item used pickup was tasty, tasty dragonberry. Trues are fosters. That was a while ago, man. Are you following me? The trap stop. Of course it did. I'm at my wit's end here. Be cool. Back. Ooh, did that kill him? Good. I get. I imagine that if you get all three of those right, and there's probably gonna be three, but I imagine if you get all of them right, you probably get him as a as a like shopkeeper again, and he probably sells like some awesome stuff. Huh, I'm invisible walled there. And it's just bones down there as well. I don't remember if they were there before. How unusual. I wonder if Soren's last name, I don't think this would be a twist or anything, and if I'm right, I would be shocked, but I wonder if Soren's name is like Kierkegaard or something. That'd be funny. Pat Bunny. Soren and his mom, Kierkegaard. I wonder if Rail always has an axe. Because that's a pretty cool looking iconic axe. But it might be. Oh, son of a bitch. That's silly. That's a problem in Symphony of the Night and like every other uh, Castlevania of that style game of that style really when you jump into a new like load zone but you don't have the uh momentum to get up and then you just drop right back down into the next into the prior load zone okay we're actually still not in the location that we were told to go to. I wonder if that take 30% less damage works on my poisonings as well. Hasten plume. I think I already had something like that. Hasten plume. Cooldown reduction. All right, compared to what? The quickened plume. So it's not as fast and it has some other stuff. Light of the Phoenix. Oh. Just makes things brighter. An essence of fire. She gives me a seed of knowledge. Talent point, huh? That'll be a lot of levels I'm giving up. The bulwark has been dealt with for now. <laughs> the path to Aldwin finally lies open. I knew I saw something in you, laddie. Well, while you're off adventuring, I suppose I'll fancy myself with a bit of sightseeing. Fret not. By the time you get back, I'll have a fresh stock of equipment for you. Hmm. Oh, laddie. Well, the higher a shield, for example, the higher a weapon. Great sword, dagger, mage. I'll make sure you level. Right. You find it on this the is the same old, same old. Oh, it's cheaper. 
Tome on Kusith and Forgotten Gaian. Oh, yeah. Armor Scraps, 75 Essence. Zealot Cape, Vados Axe. Sunstone. Oh, those things illuminate for me. Cool. So where the hell should we be going? Could try down there. I look way better over here. I don't know what I was thinking. I saw this hilarious post about how, like, the angry video game nerd is, like, reaching the top of this, like, ancient mountain. And he's, like, gaining enlightenment. But he's unable to enjoy it because of all the injustice still present in the world. And he thinks about how the world was created to support injustice. Like, it's an option that there can be injustice. Uh, but it is also a world where you can attempt to reach enlightenment. And so when confronted with both of these facts, all he can do is say, what were they thinking? It was a pretty good post. Hmm. Well, one good thing about fighting Owl King over and over again is that I can at least, like, confirm that I'm going to have... Hmm. I might be able to get there. Uh, I can at least confirm that I'm going to have some item drops, so... The problem is that when you're given an upgraded item, you don't want to use it because it's upgraded. You don't want to burn it, at least. God damn it. All right. I was looking at those ghosts, I didn't even register that I was supposed to be jumping. Whoops. Oh, this area blows, man. Oh. Still as agonizing as it was the first time. Hey guys, don't worry, my antivirus didn't find anything wrong with my computer. This isn't the way up. Somebody's played a big joke on me. Oh, and this goes nowhere too. <laughs> Great. Right. I remember why I, like, I blocked off this area in my mind. Because I was like, never go here again. And I, I forgot why I did that until just now, when I now remember why I did that. Because I can't go that way, I can't go that way, and I can't go that way, so... Carrot, at least. That's cool. Everybody give it up for Carrot. Okay. Hmm. So, maybe I've just missed something I need.
Because initially I believed... That's so something for a super jump right up there. Initially, I believed that I would be going straight to the thing. And then... There's this. Right. That's why I haven't done it yet. Oh, this is actually blocked off now. That's kind of funny. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. I was never supposed to be able to get over here, huh? They didn't even put anything over here for me. Just those two golden carrots. They didn't put anything past that, I mean. But yeah, I kind of expected that I would get that key and then I would just go straight to the thing. Hey, those two people who were in cages up here. Near Sarad Skytum. Didn't they require a key a specific key they needed a specific named key what was the name I don't remember but I think the name of the key that they require might be the same name as one of the four lords that I have to go kill or three in this case Oh yeah, that's something I was going to talk about. This game still cannot escape the Dark Souls, not trap per se, but just the Dark Souls concept of like, there's three to four big guys. And when you find them and, and get their stuff, you will unlock the next area of the game, and you must do the three big guys before getting the next area. God damn it. Just... Have you considered upgrading your Please shut up. I know, I just don't want to make the... I don't want to... I have considered it. I've been spared once before, and it was not out of kindness. I'd sooner perish than let that happen to me again. I will grant you a swift death. As long as I just stay on point for a while. How did that happen? When did that happen? And why did it happen? I literally don't even know when that occurred. At least I got to see an owl. That's cool. I've been spared once before, and it was not out of kindness. I'd sooner perish than let that happen to me again. You are swift death. You won't be able to stop endless like that. Yeah, whatever. I I don't I'm so mad that that happened. I'm not even sure how it happened, really. I've been spared once before, and it was not out of time. I'd sooner perish than let that happen to me again. Okay. I will grant you a swift death. Okay. 
Sometimes I hit the dodge button when I mean to hit the attack button and vice versa. Because I, I just think I'm hitting the button that means move. Be able to mm, like come on. I can do it. I know that I can. See, I got even further that time. The fact that it... The, the fact that her, like, dive attack when she starts doing the... The... I mean, not to do that thing that I like to do again, but... When she starts doing the Mantis Lord thing, where she just starts, like, diving and diving and diving... I'd sooner perish than let that happen to me again. Won't be able to stop endless like that. <clears throat> Why did she say stop endless? But the subtitles say defeat endless. Do you believe all the people who have died? A list. You think I use such mundane organizational methods? But it is organized. So would you be able to track a person, or rather? Your request is well above your service. Is this about your mother? The one from your death. Yes. Is she alive? I have not very disowned by the name of Everly Galbraith. Hmm. So there may be hope yet. Interesting that he's like, you don't have the authority to ask that. And, and Soren's like, yeah, but come on. once before, and it was not out of color. I'd sooner perish than let that happen to me again. I will grant you a swift death. She hits me more on the backswing of things than she does on the main swing sometimes. God! I know I can do it, and I don't want to stop the episode until I do it. Because now it's so doable. It can happen. You won't be able to stop endless like that. Shut up, Death. Please. The fact that you get 20 essence, it's so weird that they give you essence mid boss fight. I guess it makes sense if like you're on the cusp of something. Cross-up is important.
<laughs> My heart's pounding. That was good. That was real good. You continue to defy your limitations. How amusing. But yeah, that guy had something to say to me when I did the other fight. And that's not Death's voice, I don't think. Let's keep those consistent with each other. <sighs> that was really good. I learned the fight. I did what I wanted to do. That was all I needed. Uh, so, uh, oof. <laughs> uh, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been Death's Gambit, available on Steam. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.